have 529. Now this is three digit number. The first step is to start pairing up the numbers from the right side. So 29 will be one pair and five will be a single digit. So in this pair we have only one digit. Next we have to find the divisor. Now divisor should be uh, such that whose square should be equals to 5 or less than 5. We know that 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. So we cannot go for 9 because it is quite greater than 5. So we will go for 4. 4 is less than 5. And 2 square is 4 which means we will write 2 here in the divisor and 2 in the question. So 2 times 2 is 4. Now we will subtract these two numbers, we will get 1 as a remainder. Next we will drop this number, when you drop, you will drop the whole pair which is 29. Now we have 129. Now after this, you have to find a new divisor. Now the dividend is 129, so divisor will not be 2. But there are two uh, things you have to remember when you find the divisor here. The first one is you have to take the double or the twice of the question number which is in question. Now we have 2 right. So we will take the square not square twice of 2 or double of 2 that is 2 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So we will write 4 but along with 4 we have to write one more digit. Now this digit should be same as the digit in the question. So whatever digit I am taking here, it will also be a next digit in the question. And when you multiply, what number 4 along with this number, like suppose let us take 43, then we will write 3 here. So 43 times 3 should be equals to 129, 129. So we have to find a number such that the next digit in the divisor and the next digit in the question should be same. Like they should be, uh, when you multiply, it, 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 this number and this number should be same. So let us look for the number. Now, uh, we want number which is equal to 129 or less than uh, 129, right? Here we have 9. So think of a number which you multiply by itself and you get 9 in the last digit. So we know that 3 square will give us 9. And 7 square give us 49 where 9 we have at the end. So we will try with this two digits. So we will take 43, we will start with 43. So 43 times 3. So 3 3 is a 9 and 3 4 is a 12. So we got with 3 itself. So 43 times 3 is 129. So we will write here 3 in the divisor and 3 in the quotient. So 43 times 3 is 129. Now subtract, we get 0. So when we get 0, which means that the given number, that is 529, is a perfect square number. And the square root of 529 is equals to 23. You have to just write the number which is in the quotient. That's it.